The latest on the sexual assault crisis in the military. Thousands of cases every year. And the nation's top military leaders have lined up before Congress to answer a lot of questions. ABC's Martha Raddatz joins us from Washington with the latest on all this. Good morning, Martha. Good morning, Robin. The military chiefs all took responsibility for failures and promised this crisis would have their full attention, but the senators wanted more. Even there was palpable frustration first. and impatience. How many women and men are being raped and sexually assaulted? Are you freaking kidding me? Why is one in 10 going to trial and I, why is only one in 100 cases actually resulting in conviction? It is the question that vexes the nation's most senior officers, all of them men. We're failing in our efforts to fully protect our people from sexual assault and sexual harassment. Sexual assault is criminal behavior that has no place in your United States Marine Corps. But the military leaders are all resisting efforts to have victims of abuse report to special military legal authorities instead of commanding officers. I believe it is essential that our commanders be involved in each phase of the military justice process. The problem of sexual assault has only gotten worse. An estimated 26,000 sexual assaults last year, up 35 percent. And in just the past few weeks, the head of a sexual assault response office charged with sexual battery. A soldier accused of secretly videotaping female cadets in the showers. Three Naval Academy football players accused of rape. You have lost the trust of the men and women who rely on you. They're afraid to report. And for veteran and sexual assault survivor Anu Bhagwati, those words rang true. Women and men must put up with all kinds of degrading behavior, not random acts, but rather routine rites of passage that are still condoned by senior enlisted and officer leaders. Military and civilian leaders have been promising to fix the sexual assault problem for decades. Asked by one senator why he should believe this time will be different, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs said in prior years leaders focused on victim protection rather than prevention.